Hello mga ka-Elian, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DN and welcome to the Elian's Vlog and Math Tutorials. For today, we are going to have another Math Tutorial and it's all about subtraction of polynomials. Let's start! What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss subtraction of polynomials. Number two, identify the rules in subtracting polynomials. Number three, solve subtraction of polynomials. Always remember, if you don't learn from your mistakes, there's no sense making them. Again, if you don't learn from your mistakes, there's no sense making them. Let's now proceed to the main discussion of this lesson, how to subtract polynomials. Given the quantity of 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 6x minus the quantity of 6x cubed plus 6, 9x squared plus 9x, what's the first process? Change the sign of the terms of subtrahend, then proceed to addition rules of integers. We will be changing the sign of the terms of subtrahend, then we will be proceeding to addition rules of integers. From positive 6x cubed, it will become negative 6x cubed. From 9x squared, it will become negative 9x squared. From positive 9x, it will become negative 9x. Then we align all the terms or the similar terms. We will be aligning all the similar terms. x cubed, x cubed, x squared, x squared, x and x. We will be aligning the, the similar terms. It, it means we will be aligning the variables with the same exponent. Then we proceed to addition. What is 2x cubed plus negative 6x cubed? 2 plus negative 6, we have the similar sign, so we will be subtracting the two numbers, then, then we will be following the sign of the higher in terms of absolute value, what is 2 plus negative 6, that is negative 4x cubed. Negative 4x squared plus negative 9x squared, we have the same sign, so we will be adding it, then follow the sign, that could be negative 13x squared, negative 4 plus negative 9, negative 13x squared. Negative 6x plus negative 9x, we have the same sign again, so we will be adding them, then follow the sign. So negative 15x. So the answer will be negative 4x cubed minus 13x squared minus 15x. That is the final answer for the given 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 6x minus the quantity of 6x cubed plus 9x squared plus 9x. I hope you were able to follow our processes. There are only two. Next example, negative 6x raised to 4 plus 2x squared minus 6 minus the quantity of 4x raised to 4 minus 2x, cube, 2x squared plus 3. The first process, change the sign of the terms of subtrahend, then proceed to addition rules of integers. So this one is the subtrahend. From positive, it becomes negative 4x4. From negative, it becomes positive 2x squared. From positive 3, it will become negative 3. Then we align all the similar terms. x raised to 4, x raised to 4, x squared, x squared, constant. Then proceed to addition. Negative 6, x raised to 4 plus negative 4, x raised to 4. We have the same sign, so we will be adding it, then follow the sign. What is 6 plus 4, that is negative 10, x raised to 4. 2x squared plus 2x squared, same sign, we add, then 4x squared. Negative 6 plus negative 3, same sign again, we add, then follow the sign. So our final answer will be negative 10x raised to 4 plus 4x squared minus 9. That could be the final answer on the given example. Another one, x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3 minus the quantity of 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x. Again, the first process, change the sign of the terms of subtrahend, then proceed to addition rules. From positive 2x cubed, it will become negative 2x cubed. From negative 2x squared, it becomes 2x squared, positive 2x squared. From positive 2x, it will become negative 2x. Then, we align all the similar terms. x cubed, x squared, there's a space here because there's no value for x. Then, negative 3, there's no value for constant on the subtrahend. Then, proceed to addition. x or 1x cubed plus negative 2x cubed, we have the similar sign, so we, would, we will be subtracting it. Then, follow the, higher in, follow the sign of the higher in terms of absolute value. So, that would be 1 plus negative 2, that is negative 1, x raised to 3. 5x squared plus positive 2x squared, we have the same sign, so we add, then follow the sign. 
7x squared. So that is bring down negative 2x, bring down negative 3. So our final answer will be negative x cubed plus 7x squared minus 2x minus 3. That is the final answer on the given example. Another one. 2x raised to 4 plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus the quantity of negative 6x raised to 4 plus 3x squared plus 2. Again, change the sign of the terms of subtrahend then proceed to addition rules of integers. From negative 6x raised to 4, it becomes 6x raised to 4. From positive 3x squared, it becomes negative 3x squared. Then from positive 2, it becomes negative 2. Next process, align all the similar terms. So 2x raised to 4, align it with this. Then x squared, then negative 2x, negative 3, align the constant. Then proceed to addition. 2x raised to 4 plus 6x raised to 4, we have the same sign, so we just add. Then follow the sign, 8x raised to 4. 3x squared plus negative 3x squared, we have the similar sign, so we subtract. That becomes 0x squared. Then bring down negative 2x. Then negative 3 plus negative 2, same sign, we add, then follow the sign. That is, negative 5. Our final answer, 8x raised to 4 minus 2x minus 5 because... Let's move on on the last example. Negative 7x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus the quantity of 5x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 3. What's the first rule? Change the sign of the terms of subtrahend then proceed to addition rules of integers. So from positive 5x cubed it becomes negative 5x cubed from positive 4x squared it becomes Negative 4x squared from negative 2x, it becomes 2x. From positive 3, it becomes negative 3. Then align all the similar terms. x cubed, x cubed, x squared, x squared, x, x, negative 3, negative 3, constant, constant. Then proceed to addition. Negative 7x cubed plus negative 5x cubed, we have the same sign, so we will be adding them, then follow the sign. Negative 7 plus negative 5, negative 12x cubed. Negative 5x squared plus negative 4x squared, same sign again. So we add, then follow the sign, negative 7, negative 9x squared. Negative 2x plus positive 2x, the similar sign, so we subtract. That means negative 0x. Then negative 3 plus negative 3, same sign. So we will be adding, then follow the sign, negative 6. So our final answer will be negative 12x cubed minus 9x squared minus 6. That is the final answer. So we're finished with our lesson for today. We have only two processes that you need to follow. The first one, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition rules of integers. Number two, align all the similar terms. That is the only two rules for subtraction of polynomials. Always remember to be excellent of what is good and be innocent of evil. This is Sir DL. Thank you for watching and God bless you. God loves you. Bye.